Hey everybody. So, uh, I did it. <laughs> I, uh, went ahead and got into my first, um, what do you call it? I don't want to say luxury, but like upscale, I guess, type diamond painting kit. I got my first kit from Dreamer Designs. I understand why um, premium kits cost the money they do, but um, when you're working on a budget, you want to say <laughs> to pay the kind of money they want you to pay. Um, you have to really be in love with the design from my point of view. And I just don't see that many designs from the premium companies that I get that excited about. But I came across this one and got uh, pretty excited about it, which is funny because I'll show you a little sneak peek there. Uh, I hear a lot of diamond painters say they don't really get into landscapes that much. And I feel like I end up doing a lot of landscapes. I, I don't really have one particular preference that that I do I kind of just go completely by the picture if I like the picture I don't really care what the genre is but I figured since this is my first toe dipping into a, a premium kit I would go ahead and unbox for anybody that has yet to get from one of these um, more expensive companies and you're curious about what goes on or what you get um, if you've watched a number of diamond painting channels or anybody that's featured diamond painting on their channel for any reason and they've ordered from Dreamer Designs, you've probably seen the box a million times. So I already unboxed it for the most part here uh, just to save some time. But if you're curious, um, you know, they're known for having the handle on the box and there are some of the features there. You have Scooby-Doo warranty. Uh, you get the picture on the bottom of the box. In your uh, premium kit, you're going to get a nice set of tweezers, uh, one placer that I think has like one of those sort of waxy type tips on it, and then a whoops, <laughs> traditional placer with a couple of the squishy grips that go on the pen. You get uh, a couple of the Dreamer Design stamped uh, drill sorters, <laughs> the trays, uh, and then a thing of wax and then a couple of the uh, tips. Um, I think this might be a four or five placer, and then I think this is a four placer. Uh, and it all comes in this sort of like faux suede type drawstring bag. And then the whole kit itself comes inside this bag, which is sort of like, um, what do you call this? Like a sort of a mesh canvas type thing. It's also imprinted with the drawstring and uh, I just wanted to do a quick overview I'm not going to get all the way into these bags and drag them all out because I'm not getting to this kit for a little bit I have a few ahead of it but I'll go ahead and give you like a general overview the colors here it's a landscape you know I'll give you another view there it's going to be a lot of browns and some greens and oranges and stuff so you can kind of see that here um, it's going to be a good deal of 310 it looks like some different types of greens but I was going to show you that this one does come with four ABs so you get a pink AB this sort of tealy turquoise looking AB which I don't think I've seen that color in an AB before so that's cool and then you get a little bit of red AB which I think if I remember right is going on the doorways but I'll have to look at the canvas in a second and then the fourth one is you get two bags of this white AB and I got this from Dreamer Designs the um the canvas is licensed and everything but I actually bought it through their store on Amazon and one of the bonuses of that is I actually got free shipping through Amazon I think on Dreamer Designs you have to order like 75 80 bucks something like that to get to the free shipping mark so uh, I figured I'd make a little video of this and then link the store link I used for anybody that wants to get the discount because when I got it it was only I think with tax it came to 65 for this canvas and this is a pretty big canvas um I forget what was the dimension 
90 by 60 centimeter. So you can see there it's it's a landscape. So it's 35 inches wide by 23 inches tall. So it's a good size one. And the canvas uh, comes with the little ribbon tie off closure and it's on a felted back and it's got the surge protection on it that the nicer quality canvases do to uh, prevent fraying if you want to store this before framing or anything like that so you can throw that I have to be careful of that because my cat is sitting up there hello uh, and he just saw me throw the little ribbon on and uh, I don't need the vet bill so let me see if oops hold on I think this might be upside yeah I'm pretty sure this is upside down hold on just a second here um, I didn't try to flatten this out, so we'll see how we do here. Um, one other thing that I thought was pretty cool is when I originally bought this from Amazon, it was actually listed as a uh, full square. And I heard recently that Dreamer Designs had redone the way they do a lot of their kits and had upgraded their product and stuff like that. Um, the drill type and all of that. So I thought maybe the ones on Amazon were discounted because they were the older kits, which this might be. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I heard the older kits had some bad symbol quality, but this one looks pretty clean to me. Um, I don't see anything on here I would have issue reading. It has the nice bold squares. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This seems like it would look like one of the newer ones. But the reason I mentioned that is when I opened this up, I saw that it's actually the rounds. So <laughs> I was actually a little bit relieved because I was anticipating uh, this taking me a while uh, because of the size. And I was anticipating it being a square drill kit. I just know that naturally takes me probably twice as long as round kits. Oops, sorry, my sweater's leaving the camera away. Uh, so when I saw it was actually a round that showed up, I was like, oh, well, that's gonna take my multi-placing time down a good bit. Okay, so it turns out there is a styrofoam tube on here to hold it in place. So let me see if I can back up. So it looks a lot brighter on canvas. I'm thinking, like, I'll give you a peek of the colors again here. Oh, that one's pretty bright, actually. I was thinking the colors themselves are actually a little bit more muted. Uh, that might be a 152 in there, like that purpley, dark purple sort of wine color. Uh, it's basically a lot of greens and earth tones, that kind of thing. There might be a few pops of yellow in here. Um, a lot of sort of like clay colors, I guess. I get an idea. Uh, but yeah, this, <laughs> let me just go ahead and, uh, oh, here we'll go this way. So that's the name of it. Um, <laughs> my, uh, Italian pronunciation is not the best, so I'm just going to put it on screen so I don't offend anybody. Uh, but basically from what I understand that translates essentially to the stairs between the houses, which makes sense because stairs and houses. But <laughs> you guys might laugh. The reason I was mainly drawn to this is uh, because I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. And for some reason, this staircase here reminded me of the OG Sesame Street uh, intros or like the first little few minutes of the episodes where they would have oh, I can't remember uh, the guy the Hispanic guy that would come out and talk to the puppets I can't remember his name now um, but that character he would always come out and have like a little chat with them for some reason this staircase here made me think of watching Sesame Street when I was a kid and I got kind of nostalgic about the whole scene. Um, <laughs> even though this is supposed to be an Italian scene. For some reason, this tree being here and this staircase and everything, I could almost picture like Oscar's trash can down here. I don't know. This is the way my, my 80s, 90s brain works. So yeah, I thought I would show you this. 
for anybody that was curious about this one. I've only seen a couple other videos about people who have purchased this one, and I don't think I've yet seen one of anybody who has fully completed it. I have heard of people completing it, but I don't think I've yet found a video of someone 100% finishing this and filming it. So that was sort of also another motivation for me was to see if I could uh, offer that for people to um, to do that and get a reveal video for that eventually. But like I said, I have a few other canvases in the works. So this one's going to take me a minute, obviously, because like I said, it's, it's a good size, 90 by 60. Um, but now that I know it's in rounds, it's going to take me a lot less time than I originally anticipated. And also, like I said, I had heard some people say that they'd had problems with reading the um, symbols or being too dark, but just scanning over this, I don't know, mine looks pretty clear and bright, um, even through the plastic, so... Yeah, um, let me show you the, uh, the ABs again. So these are the color ABs. So these are all going to go in the trees here and on the blue doors. Thinking the reds are probably going to go up here in these flowers and maybe along the roof line. Haven't checked for sure. And then maybe the pink ABs are probably maybe scattered in this doorway back here. Uh, maybe along this roof line because uh, there's not too, too many of those. And then there's two bags of white AB in here. I'm thinking that may either be along here or along this wall here where um, the sun is sort of hitting this section here because you see it's more in shadow over there, so I don't think anything would be over there too much. Um, but since it's all bright over here, I'm guessing the majority of the AB is going to be in this little pocket right here. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be maybe along this wall here and possibly down in here. Um, looks like, let me see. I guess I could just look at the key code, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, so O looks like it's going to be all the white ABs. So yeah, it's going to be along this wall here. Mm -hmm. Is there any down here? Mm. There might be a tiny bit right there. Um, let's see where the other AB is. Um, yeah, it looks like the red ABs are going to be along this door here. And probably some of the other doors. And then it looks like... Uh, nope, that's not it. The one that was marked T, or it looks like a little hammer. Uh, let's see. I just saw it with my eye, and now I can't see it with the camera. Um... Just a second here. Oh, that's because I'm looking at something that's reversed. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, it's on this side. Uh, I saw one over here that looked similar to this symbol, but it's flipped. So, yeah, it looks like the pink ABs is going to be mostly along this roof line. Maybe down in here a little bit. Uh, and then the greens are, yeah, going to be up in this tree mostly. And then scattered some in the doors. So... Those ABs mixed in with like earth tone, clay tones, I figured was going to be really pretty. And then you're going to have pops of dark purple up in here where the more shadowed areas are. Um, the other thing this kind of reminded me of is uh, I grew up in San Diego County and in San Diego there's a mix of Mexican clay style houses and there's also... Um, little uh, ethnic communities like Little Italy. Uh, San Diego has their own version of Little Italy that has similar architecture. Mediterranean architecture, there's a Greek community in San Diego, there's a um, 
Middle Eastern community in San Diego. There's whole pockets of all these cultures coming together. And so this also kind of reminded me of some of the neighborhoods I grew up around as well. So a lot of nostalgia for no real reason, I guess, <laughs> packed into this painting for me that honestly has actually nothing to do with my life because I didn't grow up in an Italian village. But I don't know, there's just like things in it that remind me of things I grew up around. So uh, yeah, just thought I would show that. I guess I've sh <laughs> rambled on about this enough. So yeah, I just figured I would show that for anybody that was curious and uh, stay tuned for when I eventually do the reveal video once I get a bunch of other stuff done. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.